So what impacts how our blood, yeah, we're talking about eating fresh watermelon. What if we did something to it? Okay, what could we do to it? Juice. We could juice it, okay? I visited a friend the other day, I brought a watermelon. She said, um, hey, I'll make some watermelon juice. I'm like, I'd rather eat it. Okay, if that's, if that's okay with you, I'd like to eat, just eat it. Okay, if you juice it, what are you doing? You're taking the fiber out. The fiber, A, it's a significant component. B, the presence of fiber slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream. So if you take the fiber out, what would you expect to happen to the glycemic load? Go up. Go up. Glycemic index of oranges is four. Excuse me, glycemic load of oranges are four. It's four. Orange juice, 11. Has almost three times the impact because you've taken out the fiber. Okay? So you might not want to take that sugar any faster than would happen in nature, which means eat the oranges. Now, will eating orange juice make you feel good? Drinking orange juice? Yeah. It's going to bump up your. Well, it's going to it's going to bump. Most people want to feel high. It's going to bump up their blood sugar, and they feel more energetic because their blood sugar is high. If you actually have ample energy, you don't want that, right? You don't want that. I've always been a pretty high energy person. I always hated cocaine and speed back in the old days, right? In the 70s when I was still using drugs. I never liked those substances. I didn't need to go faster. I don't want to be sped up. That didn't feel good to me, okay? I don't, want, I don't like the sweetest fruits. I don't want things that are, that are like so much sugar, it's too much for me. I don't feel good, okay? I feel better eating things that are more, I mean, most fruits are perfect, but like the very sweetest fruits, I wouldn't want to make a meal of a nisporo, mame sapote. Too much, a little too much for me. Egg fruit, canistel, anyone know canistel? Do you have canistel in the Bahamas? Egg fruit, oh, there might be a different name for it. It's in the sapote family, it's like eating icing. I mean, it tastes amazing, but it's incredibly sweet. It's like eating icing. Okay, how much of that? I wouldn't want to make a meal it's of that. It's also lack of water. It's like a sweet. It's, re it's relatively dry. Which would now, what happens if you take the water out of something? Okay, what's sweeter, a raisin or a grape? Raisin sweeter, right? You know why? Because they inject sugar and they take a hypodermic needle and they inject sugar into every single raisin. That's why raisins are so expensive. Manually labor intensive. Right? No. That's not what happens. So, why are raisins much sweeter than grapes? Because they've taken the water out. Where a grape is 80 to 82% water, a raisin is 20 to 25% water. You've taken most of the substance away. What's left is mostly what? Fiber and sugar. Okay? The sugar is way more concentrated than it was before because you've removed the water. Fiber, um, so, what about bananas? So, Hank, so when you, guys, questions later, please. Uh, where was I? Raisins. So when you, when you dry a, f a fruit, well, in fact, you don't have to dry a fruit. If you look at fruits that are naturally lower in water, those are the ones that tend to be the sweetest. The sweet fruits all tend to have the lowest water content. So apples, pears, grapes are relatively low water content fruits compared to most sweet fruits. They're, you know, they're 80 to 82 percent water. Bananas, 73, 74 percent. Okay, mame sapote, same range. Durian, jackfruit, same range. All these sweet fruits, the sweetest fruits, are relatively low in water. That's one of the reasons why they taste so sweet. The sugar is more concentrated because there's less water. Okay, does this make sense? All right? So these things are going to be higher glycemic load. Almost all fresh fruits are low glycemic load fruits. Almost all. Mangoes, pineapples, around nine, eight, nine. Okay, most of the other ones, between one and nine. But bananas, sapotes, and these other sweet fruits, 
are going to be in the 12, 13, 14 range. Now, most people would say, well, that's moderate. That's okay. What if we were never intended to eat anything that was higher than that? Okay. Because the glycemic index and glycemic load aren't just looking at the things that belong in our bodies. They're looking at everything people think of as food. So some of the highest glycemic load foods are things like bread and pasta. Okay, all the processed grain cereals, all these processed grain products. Because we take most of the fiber away and what's left, the body easily converts into sugar quickly. Okay, without much fiber there. And that means big bump in blood sugar. Okay? These are not things we want to be consuming. And and they make people think that some things are moderate when may, you know maybe those sweet fruits are actually high glycemic load foods for our bodies because the other stuff is stuff we never should eat. Now we talked about dates. I love dates. But I like them when they're not too dry. Okay? And you don't want to eat too many of them. Remember high glycemic load is 20 and above. So there's lots of processed foods that are in the 20 to 30 range. But dates, the way they're eaten most of the time, over 40. The way they're usually eaten. Very high glycemic load. Why? They're, they're dry. They're very, raisins are, are a little lower, but they're very high. All dried fruits. Okay? Don't eat dried fruits. I mean, don't... Dates are different because they dry in nature. You know, if you're living, if you're in a place, the desert, where there's not a lot you can eat growing naturally, you can, you can eat dates. If you're, if you're crossing the desert, you can't, your food's not going to stay good very long. Dates will just dry out. You can still eat them in a month. Okay? They don't go bad. But if you're eating a bunch of them, you're getting a ton of sugar into your bloodstream. Okay? It's a problem. All right, so understand that you know, pe most people say sugar, sugar. It's not true. Processed sugar has no fiber, has no nutrients, and goes into your, your it's boom, blood sugar, right up. You eat fruit, fresh fruit, that doesn't happen. Okay, we don't see that happening. We've measured the blood sugar of lots of people eating fruit. In fact, a couple years, I don't think you were here at the time, but we had three women from Israel, three or four women from Israel fasting, and one of them was a type 1 diabetic who refused to take insulin. And when she got here, her blood sugar was 350, high, 325, very high. Okay? She fasted, and it came down. She fasted, I think, for 20 days. She had intended to fast for 30, but she was vomiting re repetitively every day for two weeks and I said I think we should stop two of them were doing the same thing but this one woman who's diabetic she stopped fasting her blood sugar had come down it was probably 200 by the end of the fast okay still high but much lower than it had been she began refeeding ate only fruit her blood sugar came down every day eating fruit that's what happens to most people because most fruits are low glycemic load foods, okay?